Hey guys, it is Wednesday and we are here for Wisdom Wednesday. Um, hopefully, um, you guys are having a great week. It is beautiful here. Um, it is a beautiful day, so I decided to sit on my deck and um, talk to you from here. Um, of course, you know uh, the routine and if you guys have problems with me being um, heard or anything, please let me know. Hey, Crystal, thank you for letting me know you can see me. Okay, so today I'm going to try to conquer the um, question that I get asked a lot. I get asked a ton which eucalyptus oil is good for what and um, how should I use it and all of those good things. So if you go on to Young Living's website, you will see that Young Living has three different eucalyptus oils that we can purchase as singles. Now, if you look in the RC blend, you will see a whole lot more um, eucalyptus oils in there. If you look in your uh, pocket reference guide on your app, you'll see all of these eucalyptus oils mentioned. And it's because those are um, in some of the blends such as RC and Breathe Again. But Young Living has three that we can purchase um, as singles and so I'm going to try to break these down for us. Um, I learned that there are actually over 700 species of eucalyptus. That's crazy. So if you go to the store, um, because we all know you can buy uh, essential oils um, at a store, right? And you'll see eucalyptus oil. So they that can be over 700 different species. That's crazy. So some of them have you know great benefits for our bodies, and some of them not so much. So um, we really want to know what we're getting. And I love that Young Living actually says, "Okay, this is what um, this oil is." Okay. So um, let's talk about my, um, I'm going to talk about my favorite first, okay, because I love it. And if you can see this bottle, like compared to the other two bottles, like these two are almost full and Eucalyptus Globulus has like maybe a quarter left and that kind of makes me sad. I'm just going to smell it just, oh my gosh, seriously, I love it. Eucalyptus globulus. Love it. So, Eucalyptus globulus. Let's talk about this one. Um, I have my notes sitting here so because I don't want to miss anything. It is the most common eucalyptus. So, if you see, um, like in the um, app on your phone, if you see a recipe call for eucalyptus, and that's all it says, this is what they're actually talking about is Eucalyptus globulus. Um, it's very common to put in um, vapor rubs, um, even tummy rubs. It's great to put in um, your uh, bottles to keep pesky outside door things away from you. Um, it's even good for oral health. Didn't know that one. Um, I primarily use this when I am running. I love to put eucalyptus globulus over my chest. It oxygenates all that respiratory issues, so you're getting um, a whole lot more oxygen when you run. And any of us runners, we know we need oxygen when we, when we run. Um, the other thing that I love to do with this is some of you guys saw the graphic that I posted maybe a week and a half ago called Cough Ease, and it's 10 drops of eucalyptus globulus. It's one drop of wintergreen and one drop of peppermint. And you put that in your diffuser. Y'all, seriously, that did wonders for me when I had that cough from hell, literally. Um, it was horrible. And it would just, like, calm that right down. The, um, the scent of eucalyptus globulus is known to just promote a feeling of well-being. And I agree with that because I love, love it. Love it. So, um, the thing that I like to tell people about eucalyptus globulus too is my mom and I were actually talking about this on the phone yesterday. 
is um, one way to remember like, okay, which eucalyptus do I need right now? Globulus is a good way to remember because it's when you have a lot of mucus down, going down in your throat and stuff, it's the globs. So you want to use eucalyptus globulus for that. Okay, the next one, oh, by the way, this is the cheapest one too. It's probably another reason why it's my favorite. It is $14.50. Eucalyptus radiata, okay? That is, primarily we knew um, this oil before I actually bought this oil, as to be in the Thieves Essential Oil Blend. So that should tell you right there, it is great for immune support. Um, it is uh, known even to support eye health. So I know some of you are dealing with issues with your eyes. Um, if you would use this to help support that, that's awesome. It also supports skin and hair, I found out. So that's great. Radiata is known for um, the dry cough. So I think of radiator, dry heat dry cough, eucalyptus radiata. Um, eucalyptus blue, okay? This is the only eucalyptus um, with its well-balanced chemistry and non-allergen effect for all types of respiratory concerns. As far as now, we're gonna talk, I'm not talking oil at this point, I'm talking about the eucalyptus plant. Um, I can tell you that when an oil is steam distilled, or when a plant is steam distilled, it loses the proteins when it becomes the oil that cause that allergic reaction. So when this is, this is actually talking about the plant, um, it's the only eucalyptus in the world that does not cause an allergic reaction to people who have allergies to eucalyptol. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Um, so eucalyptus blue is not my favorite smell. I'm just going to be honest with you. I, um, when Abby was dealing with all of that chest cold and everything, I have a friend who is like a genius with essential oils. Like seriously, she's been using Young Living Oils since, um, like they've been around almost. Not really. It's been 21 years though. That's a long time. So she's kind of my go-to with all of this stuff. And, um, she was telling, I was telling her why I was rubbing on her chest and all that. And she said, and Abby was just so congested up here. And she said, I want you to take uh, two drops of eucalyptus blue and in your hand and then cup it on the back of her neck, up, a, up along here, up against the brainstem and just hold it there. And that will open her up. And I was like, okay, it's worth a shot. So I did it. Y'all seriously, it worked wonders wonders like I was like oh my gosh we've been dealing with this for a week and a half had no idea a couple of drops of this bad boy on the back of the neck of all places like I always like if I'm stopped up stopped up then I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna put it here I don't think about the back of the neck um so that's really neat it is stimulating to the hypothalamus it brings a sense of peace and balance now this is where I thought this was really neat too. It is a great companion to Dorado Azul. Okay, there are a lot of oils with Young Living that are kind of like uh, the best kept secret of essential oils. Um, and Dorado Azul is one of those. Like a lot of people have no idea what Dorado Azul even is um, or what it smells like. Let me tell you guys, you need it. You need it in your kit, especially for respiratory issues. So, um, eucalyptus blue is actually known to um, be the great partner as far as the eucalyptus oils with Dorado as well. Also, I found that you can combine eucalyptus blue with lemongrass, so like equal parts with it um, for diffusing and it can help the body's immune system to work at its best. Something we all need, all of us need. The combination, it said, was also great to have a great night's sleep because it's great to open the respiratory airways as well as support the adrenal glands. Okay, 
Uh, Vonda, I hope that you can watch this later. You are Ken. If not, hopefully I'll remember to tell you. Um, because Ken always is looking for stuff to support his adrenal glands. So, which we all should be. But he actually has a specific condition that he needs to support them. So I love that. Now, again, eucalyptus blue is not my favorite um, smell, but you know what? I just kind of get over that if I know it's going to help me, right? So it's actually very mild um, as far as the uh, feeling of it. The other two eucalyptuses tend to be a little cooling. Eucalyptus blue, not really. So um, that is, you know, that's good if people don't like that feeling. Um, so a lot of times as well, eucalyptus blue is something that you can, um, if a child is dealing with a hacking cough, eucalyptus blue will uh, calm that down usually um, before, you know, the other ones because it's just not as harsh. So you can also put that in a tub with some Epsom salts. Um, we did that for Abby because my friend told me to. Um, so there's all kinds of different things. So I wanted to make sure that you guys know and you guys have a reference point to go back and look and say, okay, difference of eucalyptus oils. If you go look in your app on your phone, if you do not have the app on your phone, let me pull it up here. I'm going to show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like right there. Okay. Reference guide for essential oils. If you do not have that, you need that, okay? Um, if you, I mean, if you have a pocket reference book, that's great. This is so handy. I mean, let's face it, we always have our phones in our hands. So if you go to single oils and you go look at the eucalyptuses, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them listed on here. I would highly suggest you look up the three that we talked about and you look at the chemical constituents in them, okay? And look up the word, I think it's pronounced cyanol. Not really sure. I'm not a chemistry buff, but I really do love this. Um, C-I-N-E-O-L. C-I-N-E-O-L. It is also um, spelled C-I-N-O-L-E. Uh, either way is correct, it's kind of weird. Google that chemical constituent. Google it. Look at what it's good for. It's crazy what it's good for. And we have all of this in our hands with eucalyptus oils. Eucalyptus globulus is the highest in that specific um, chemical constituent. So another reason why I love it. All right, you guys have an awesome day. Um, this was Wisdom Wednesday. Hopefully you learned a little bit. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.